excited to get going again. What was it like practicing with Team USA? Uh, I was. It was really um, fun just to be around that um, that many superstars uh, and kind of be considered as you know, being looked at as one of the next ones to, to play in that. Um, it was super humbling and um, you know it's just a, a situation that not a lot of people get to, to be around um, for you know me to be a rookie um, and to go into that was, was really, you know, fascinating. How has the learning process been for you? I know you came from Kentucky where you did a lot of the rim runner job and you did with Carl, but now it's a role. Uh, you know, just a, a learning experience. Um, you know, I think despite, you know, I had a pretty bad summer league, but I took a lot of stuff from that, um, which has already helped me out, you know, playing pickup. You know, here lately, uh, I could already see the changes that I had made into my game through that. Um, which is, you know, slowing down and just using like a quick step instead of trying to play fast all the time. Um, and really just trying to pick out the game mentally instead of, you know, just using all, you know, athleticism and really trying to break it down, you know, through our IQ level. What made someone look so tough for you just just to a new role and kind of figure out what you what wanted from you? Um, definitely adjusting to a new role. Um, creating new habits like, you know, being told no, don't do that, and then going to a situation where they're like, yes, do that. Like, we want you to, you know, venture out and, and really, you know, explore, you know, this new position where you go through a whole year of, like, you know, being put in a corner and, you know, stay there. It's, um, it's different to, to, re to rewire your brain and, and into thinking, you know, something else. And, um, you know, like they said, you know, bad habit takes seven sometimes to do it over and over to, to create a good. And, um, I feel like that's what the summer was for. Was it that you were really focused on your offense in the summer league and not necessarily used to that? Or I think that part of it? I think I just put, you know, a lot of pressure on myself because I I was working out, you know, as soon as we got in with the Rockets game, I, I came back and, then, you know, I took a week off and immediately started working out with Peja and um, working on, you know, just shooting and, you know, a lot of shooting. So. I had such success early doing that that when I got in the summer league, I wanted to perform so, you know, on, a, on that type of level um, where I didn't. Um, and uh, I just put a lot of pressure on myself doing that and it just, you know, it showed. You did well in the workouts with those years later. Yeah. You were pretty vocal last year about, you know, guys needed to trust each other, especially on the defensive end. Now you got a defensive minded head coach. Do you feel like that'll be an easier thing to do this year? Yeah, um, I think you know we're gonna we're gonna you know, learn a, a lot about it tomorrow um, when we start. Um, we have our first defensive practice, and um, it's really all about just helping each other. You know, our, our defense we, we predicated on you know, everybody you know being vocal with each other, but you know sacrificing for one each other. Um, you know, the dudes on the island that we're all spread it in like, nah, you're not putting my man on the island or. Um, Know, things like that, dude gets beat, you know, you know that if you get beat, you're going to have a guy there and a guy that's going to have his guy, so um, everybody rotating on, on that type of level um, is big. Um, i seen it in college where I you know, had a team that didn't do that, so, so I had a team that we only did that, and it was just like night and day of, of how, how much more you can gamble, and, um, you know, it's a lot more fun playing that way.